Okay, we we'll go. Hey, sir, sorry for the delay. So you going to a hotel in Pala? Yeah, I know the place. It's lucky for you, Pala has only one hotel still working. You see that plane? You won't see any more very soon. That's probably the last one for this Full of rich people. Only money and connections can reach out.
Mr. Mr. Gale, this is Chad Peterson from the U.S. Embassy here in Patna. Uh, I'm calling you pursuant to the application for a tourist visa for India with further travel to Karat. We can only accept your status as a U.S. citizen as we have no official records regarding your Karate citizenship. Furthermore, I must legally advise you against traveling into Karat. We have no official diplomatic presence in Karat due to the civil unrest with the Golden Path. In regards to your intent to bring with you the cremated remains of one Ishwari Gale, you'll need to bring with you the passport for the deceased. Passport. Yeah. What's happening? Patna boy. Patna. Patna mein ja. Parva hai to baad mein ja. Lekin hamari range mein hai. Maine kaha baad mein ja. Kuch hai? Abhi tak kuch nahi. Koi baat nahi, boss. Koi baat nahi. Ye rakh. Stop. Mil gaya? Kuch mil gaya? Aao. Chalo chalo. Bas se niklo. Hey rok. Ruko. Saale. Montana, big sky country, the treasure state, 
people got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. Good day to you, brother. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious. Militant. I mean, it was a goddamn cult. The lapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state. Built right here. Under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. The government can't do shit. We're on our own. Fans, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. Some will betray us. We don't know what he's capable of. How? Who? Their leader. Joseph Seed. They call him the Father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see. The day I was born was the day the world collapsed. Those that survived had to make new lives underground. Up above, there was nothing but ash and cold and death. People thought it would last forever, but without us up there, life returned. I was six years old the first time I saw the sun. Mom and Dad were heartbroken by what they saw. The world they'd known gone forever. But not me. I'd never seen anything so perfect. We weren't the only ones who'd survived, and slowly but surely, our little community grew. It wasn't always easy, but for a time, there was peace and prosperity. A new home. A new life. A new normal. But, like all things in this world, it was too good to last. The highwaymen came from the east, led by a pair of sisters. Twins. Said they'd heard about our little paradise. Said they wanted it for themselves. We never stood a chance. They took everything from us. Our food, our homes, our people. We needed a miracle. And that's when we heard the name Thomas Rush. He and his captain had been up and down the West Coast helping folks like us rebuild. And they were on a train headed right through Hope County. Mom sent me to find them convince them to help us take our home back. They were our last hope, our salvation. But it all went horribly wrong. <laughs> 